Hi everybody, this is Matt. Today we're going to continue on with our presentation of the peripheral nervous system and today we're going to talk about the conduction from the periphery to the spinal column and then the communication uh, back to the periphery from the spinal column. So again, I'd like to thank the author and publishers of Funcionella Anatomy from Berlin, published in 1990. And we'll go right to the presentation that we have, and that is this one. We will look here at the spinal column and the area of the pelvic girdle. And you can see in great detail just exactly how the nerves uh, exit from the vertebral bodies of the spinal column and transit downward to, in this case, the legs. Then we have this incredible presentation of the dermatones. Each one of those nerves is responsible for the communication with a specific colored area. I won't go into detail as to which nerves are communicating with what areas, but if you have a specific problem in, for instance, this uh, purple area which innervates the uh, lower leg, then that is associated with a specific uh, conduction issue with one of the nerves. Then lastly, I'm going to look at this presentation here, and this is just incredibly well done. The uh, blue area are the afferent nerves, that is the conduction of the nervous information from the spine to the muscles. And then the red area is the efferent or efferent uh, conduction, that is from the muscle to the spine. And what it's demonstrating is a standard a procedure that's done in a physical exam where the physician uses a hammer and um, gives a tap just below the kneecap and it is um, uh, demonstrating the reflex uh, conduction pathway uh, with the nerves themselves. And I'll just go back out slowly. You'll see the dermatomes again and then up at the top you will see the pelvic girdle and that tremendous detail of how the nerves exit from the spine. And this is so good. I will let you take a close look at it once again. And that's it. So anyways, that's another aspect and I'm breaking the, the whole conduction or uh, different aspects of the peripheral and central nervous system into segments and that way we can kind of go into a little bit more detail and hopefully that will be conducive to learning a little better. Okay, have a great day.